Hi friends, this is Andy from Tech Store, and in this video, we're going to be showing you the procedure to basically uh, disassemble the base of the Dell Inspiron 5000 5567 laptop uh, that has been launched recently. So, if your laptop looks like this, this is the fog grey variant. It's got these rounded edges, uh, very much distinctive than the other Dell laptops. And if the base looks something like this, then you can apply this particular procedure. Alright, uh, so to start things up, uh, you need a prior as you can see uh, for protruding the base. You need a screwdriver set like this, and uh, you need a partition box wherein you can keep all the screws of uh, different uh, places into one so that it do not get confused at the later stage. First thing first, you need to flip the laptop, and uh, as you can see. It's absolutely packed base. Uh, you need to remove all the visible screws over here. So let's start with the DVD writer screw over here and removing the DVD writer. So one screw over here. You need to put it in the DVD writer thing. Another screw over here. Once you remove it, you can very easily remove the DVD writer. So people who want to actually just remove the DVD writer, this is the way to go. You can just uh, take another uh, 9 mm, 9.5 mm SATA. Uh, DVD writer and you can replace your DVD writer. Actually you can use a HDD caddy to put a secondary hard drive also or an SSD onto this. Let's keep it on the side. Now as you can see there are these three screws over here also. One, two, three. So let's remove them. Let's start removing all these visible screws. Start. Now, once you've removed all the screws over here, you need to again flip the laptop and start protruding the touchpad out of this. So start with the duty writer area which will be easy for you to because it has been removed. So as you keep on protruding crackling sound all over. Right. And then just put it back like this very gently. The base will come off. So the entire uh, laptops, motherboard, battery, hard drive, everything is exposed just by removing the base here. So let's start with the battery first. For removing the battery, we need to remove this particular screw over here. Put in the battery section. Another screw over here. Side. Then we uh, need to move this one screw over here. Need to remove these strips that are there. This is the hard drive. And then uh, very gently we can remove the battery. But first, we need to remove the battery from the motherboard. So we have not disconnected the battery here. So people who want to actually replace the battery, this is a 42 watt hour battery and uh, it's the type WDX0R here in India. So if you just want to say replace the battery, this is the way to go. Coming to the hard drive, uh, you need to remove these four screws. Three screws and uh, you can have the hard disk in hand. It's basically a SATA hard drive, uh, 2.5 inches. You just need to remove this one strip connector and um, one, two, three, four. Remove these four screws and the frame will be off. You can take an SSD and uh, replace it over here. So let us just again replace it back because we are not in requirement of upgrading this hard drive as this one of time. Now coming to the RAM area, there are these two slots 
it takes uh, DDR4 low voltage memory only. So if you want to remove the memory, you just need to use uh, two fingers and these two notches will give away the RAM here. And uh, you need to buy a DDR4 uh, low voltage uh, memory. So the maximum upgrade capacity of this particular laptop is around 16 GB. So 8 plus 8, 16 GB is uh, very much possible. We take another uh, DDR4 memory over here and uh, take a transient the memory this. Just insert it and just press it. That's it. So people who would want to actually go ahead and clean the fan, you can just remove one, two, three, four, five, six, six screws over here and one screw here, seven screws. The entire heat sink and the fan assembly will come off. And you can uh, replace it. This is the speaker over here. Beautiful speakers this laptop has. So if you want to replace the speaker, just take these two speakers off and put it back. This is the Wi-Fi chip, the AC Wi-Fi chip. Uh, which gives throughput up to 750 Mbps. So all in all, uh, everything can be literally configured. So let us now start reassembling it back. Just open it and uh, check if press is correct. And that's it. So this my friends was a video showing you how to basically replace the RAM, hard drive and uh, upgrade it with the SSD and basically replace the DVD writer to a HDD caddy or another DVD writer. You can uh, access the motherboard, processor, fan, Wi-Fi, AC chip, everything uh, was pretty much uh, visible once we opened the base. Hope you liked the video, do let us know your suggestions and comments and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us. You can buy all these components on our website techstore.co.in. Thank you so much guys.